So once I've done a fairly good job of exposing my horse to some scary objects, flags, plastic bags, maybe pool noodles, um, ribbons, that type of thing, I want to try to continue to expose them to that as much as possible. So once they're safely accepting that and I can touch them and rub them all over their body and that they can walk by it really nice and quietly without making a big commotion. For example, if I take Hannah, since I've done some work with her here, I can ask her to very quietly just walk between me and these plastic bags and I don't have to be worried that she's gonna plow over me because she's reacting and jumping sideways away from the plastic bag. But once I get my horse to that point, what I wanna do is I wanna make it a habit to bring them back to a scary area to do my desensitizing because then I'm just getting double desensitizing. So as I begin to desensitize my pony with my steady stick and the trainer, what I'm gonna do is just take nice, big, deep breaths and I'm gonna act like these flags behind me are no big deal. This is just a part of everyday pony life. The idea is to make the scary objects almost like a common occurrence, not a big deal. And so I just kind of like to go through, touch every part of her body with the trainer and make sure that she's good with that. And if she's good with that, then what I'll do is again, while I'm standing by all these flags, so I'll grab one of my one of my flags from my flag kit here and I'll start doing some desensitizing with her rubbing her all over her body here again what we're doing is it's double desensitizing we're desensitizing her with our steady stick or our flag we're also desensitizing her with the flag kits that we have set up around here just so that she learns how to deal with pressure from multiple locations. You know, sometimes when you're riding, you might be on the trail and get something caught up underneath your horse's tail or your boot snag, something that you're dragging along. And then at the same time, there might be something else off in the distance that might preoccupy your pony. We want our pony to be okay dealing with multiple pressures coming from different directions. And so that's gonna help to encourage her to be quiet, calm, relaxed by desensitizing her with multiple stimulus around her. You know, when we're riding our horse, it's not like it's a perfectly manufactured scare where our horse just happens to have to deal with just that one plastic bag that comes at her hind quarter and then it comes at the back legs and then it comes over the middle of her back and her head and shoulder. That's not reality. We don't know where that scary object is gonna come from and if there might be multiple ones, we wanna get prepared. The way that we can prepare our horse for that is by practicing ahead of time, by going through and doing exercises while we introduce multiple things to them. So she's doing pretty well with this. I'm gonna take a nice big deep breath and I'm gonna give her a rub, let her know that she's doing a fantastic job.